Hey, beautiful people, it's Rakeen. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the City Double Cash credit card. Now, someone said that they went to Credit Karma and they was actually able to get approved for this one. So they said, I got the City Double Cash card without a hard inquiry. Credit Karma guaranteed I would get it. I applied for it through their link and got it without an inquiry. So that is amazing that you can get a credit card like City Double Cash. They got 0% APR for 18 months for balance transfer. So if you guys have a balance on a credit card, I suggest you if you pay in every month on it technically. I would suggest that you go ahead and move it on to this credit card here. And um, they are going to charge you a fee, but they have a within the first four months, if you do it right way for that balance transfer, they're only going to charge you 3% compared to like the normal 5%. That's good. They'll give you $200 when you first sign up as long as you spend $1,500 on your credit card within the first six months. Um, that's really nice. A $200 bonus plus, guess what? They don't have any annual fees. So uh, this one is really, really nice. Um, so I definitely want to go ahead and look at this credit card and hopefully you guys are able to get approved. Now, let me say this. When you guys go to Credit Karma, they should have some suggested credit cards for you. So I want you just to log into the app and then go down to the bottom and just click um, credit. I believe it's credit. No, click cards. And then they'll tell you, you know, what credit cards they think that you're able to get approved for. They'll have those credit cards there. And then you can also click top. Um, top picks for you and they'll tell you there too like these are the ones that we think you're going to be able to get with your credit score that you have okay so definitely check that out because that's going to be very very beneficial to um you all but let me show you what it looks like to um look at their application and be on their website and all those those good things so let me show you that so i was showing something else we'll come back to this um but I was telling you all, go to my website and you'll be able to see the City Double Cash on my website. So go to Rakita.com. You can search the City Double Cash and you will be able to learn more about the City Double Cash here. Um, when you guys want to actually apply for the credit card, you guys can just go to um, Credit Karma. And this is basically what Credit Karma is saying about the credit card. So you could just apply for the credit card. If you not log into your account, they don't have that guaranteed approval thing. You're going to get a hard inquiry. Um, I think the last time I got an Equifax credit card, they pulled, um, excuse me, I got a city credit card. They pulled Equifax. I think I heard some people say that they pulled Experian. So be careful with that. But you guys will earn $200 cash back after you spend $1,500 on purchases within the first six months of opening your account. Um and the bonus will be fulfilled in thank you points, which you can redeem for $200 cash back. And then you'll get 2% back on all your purchases. You'll get 1% when you pay. And then that additional 1%, um, actually, when you buy some, and then when you pay for your purchases, you want to get that 1% back. So that's going to be 2% all together. Also, you want to get 5% total back on hotels, car rentals, attractions that you book through the city travel portal. Um, you guys also, like I said, if you have to do a balance transfer, um, they have a 0% APR um, on balance transfers for 18 months. That's very amazing. But I did say this. Um, you guys can get 3% back for each transfer. Chase charged me 5% after that. So I'll never do it again. <laughs> I didn't like it. I feel like money just went down the drain. I didn't even need to do that, you know, but it was still an experience. But they charge a 3% as long as you do it within the first month. After that, they're going to get that. You're going to get that 5% that Chase giving out to, okay? Um, like I said, you don't have any annual fee, which is very amazing. Um, the credit needed, you just need to have a good credit score, they're saying. And they had a little thing here. So the minimum credit needed to provide it. Um, this is not a guarantee that you will be approved by the lender or the credit will be extended to you. So, yeah, they have some some extra stuff they want to put down there. So, yeah, this is a city credit card. So let's actually look at their application. OK, let me see if every, anything stands out over here on the side. Nothing does. Um, let me say this. I found out like with City, even their secure credit cards, they don't like bankruptcies within the last two or three years. So if you do have a bankruptcy, please 
um, tread lightly on this. And I'm going to show you guys another way that you can see if City even likes you. Like if you don't have that guaranteed approval, stick around. I'm going to try to teach you how to do a pre-qualification and see if City even like you. And if they can pre-qualify you for this credit card, which is a different city credit card, then that means you have a decent chance of getting this one because they already, they kind of like you. You know what I mean? If they don't give you a pre-qualification for the one I'm going to show you, then they probably don't like you. Like, because it's an easier card to get if you ask me. Okay. But for, on their application, what you're going to need to do is look at their paper list terms and conditions. So definitely look at the different terms and conditions. And on the application, they're going to be requ requesting your first name, your last name. Your middle initial is optional. Um, if you got any type of suffix, you can go ahead and put it in there. Social security number, your date of birth. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes or no. Um, what's your address? Please do not put P.O. boxes in here, um, like P.O. box. 28694. You know, don't put P.O. box in there. You know, make sure you put an actual address in here. And if you want to provide a P.O. box, you have to click this. I want to provide a P.O. box address. And then you could put your P.O. box address in there. But to me, I have found that having a regular address, a normal address, got you approved for a lot more credit cards. Um, What's your mobile number? I want to provide a home phone number if you want to add one, you can. Your email address. And then put your total annual income and then your monthly mortgage or rent payment. If you guys are getting money from other sources, like say if somebody is giving you $500 a month, like they're doing it on a regular basis, um, in some instances, you can add that as your income. So that is uh, really good. And also for the monthly rent or mortgage, if more people than you are paying it, then you can probably put whatever you literally you're paying, not the total, because you want to have as little expenses as possible. So if your rent is actually twenty five hundred dollars, but you're splitting it in half with somebody and you paying twelve fifty, they paying twelve fifty, then go ahead and put your twelve fifty portion now. OK, um, do you want to add an authorized user to this account? Please be careful with this authorized authorized user. Y'all, they're going to get them a credit card and they can spend the money and they not be liable for it. Any, any person I would suggest to add is like a young child. Like I have my daughter on. She just turned 15 a few days ago. I got her on my credit cards. But other than that. No, she need to build credit. Other than that, I don't I am not going to do it. Um, what's a security or hint? You can go ahead and pick one and put your security. Um word in there and then you have to look over these boxes and check it and click um agree and submit but that would be the full application now i want to show you guys that trick i was telling you about it's not really a trick but i think everything is a trick at this point <laughs> uh easy way to see if they like you or not okay um and that way is to go to my website um let me show you go to my website if you want to, you schedule a call. First link you see is schedule a call with me or somebody on my team. Schedule a call. You can go ahead and schedule a call. Or you can go right here to pre-qualify with no hard inquiry. You can go ahead and click on there, and then you'll get this list here. And I like this list because they have the Wayfair credit cards. With this one, you can pre-qualify with no hard inquiry. And... I did. I got a uh, Wayfair credit card. I use it uh, for a car rental. Um, that was it. I haven't used it for anything. But if you shop at Wayfair, this may be a good one for you too because you get the five percent back in rewards. Um, you may go ahead and just accept the offer if you really like it. But when you pre-qualify for this, they're going to tell you yes or no on whether they're going to give you that credit card. And if they tell you no, they're not going to eat a credit card. Then ain't no, you know, they're not technically even trying to give you like, it's, it's not a store card, but they're not even trying to give you one of their easier cards to get. You may have a hard time getting that city double cash card. Now, if they do approve you for it, then you may think, mm, especially because you're going to get a hard inquiry. If um, credit card didn't get, extend that guarantee offer to you, when you apply, you're going to get a hard inquiry. But if they say, yes, they can give you that way fair to you may think, mm, I might be able to get this city double cash you know, and just do a little bit more research. And if any guy, anybody recently applied for any city credit cards, please put in the comments, like which uh, credit bureau they pulled. But um, I think life is going to slow down a little bit more for me. Um, I would say next month, a little bit, it may slow down for me a little bit next month. 
um, I'm going to start just posting who these um, companies, I'm going to update the list on who they're actually pulling because it's going to be a, like a long process to be able to do that. Um, so I'm going to start getting that list together for you guys. And I'm going to start asking you guys, who do y'all want to know? You know, who do y'all want to know? Like, which company do y'all want to know? Which bureau they pull? If I already know it, I'll tell you what it is. But maybe it's some companies out there that we probably don't have videos about. So definitely in the comments, let me know what companies you may be interested in with knowing who they're going to pull. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.